At Georgia Power, we're investing in our power grid, expanding our infrastructure to shorten outage and repair time, and providing a more diverse fuel mix at a cost 15% below the national average. Because with reliable energy, the future is in your hands. And let's welcome to Tech Talks, one of the six current or former Yellow Jackets vying for the half of our trophy at the U.S. Amateur this year, sophomore Adam Braden joins us now. Adam, thanks uh, so much. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on. So you qualified by winning a playoff in your home state of Indiana, and, and that is nervy enough. But what really helps calm those nerves is when you eagle the first hole <laughs> of the playoff like you did that must have been a gutsy couple of shots. Take us through that hole. Yeah, so, I mean, the whole day was really stressful. You know, obviously, I played really good in the first round, didn't have a great second round. Um, so walking off, you know, that last green, you know, I wasn't really sure if I uh, was going to even be in a playoff or not. But obviously, when I came into the clubhouse, I was lucky enough to sneak into that playoff and you know, from that point forward, you know, I told myself, you only get so many chances at this, you know, so um, I just did everything I could to uh, get my ball into the fairway. And then, you know, once I was on that green, I had that 15 footer and, you know, I knew that if I made it, I'd be going out to Oakmont. Um, lucky enough, I had my dad catting for me on the bag and, you know, he kind of helped uh, just calm my nerves a little bit. And, you know, when that putt went in, it was just a huge relief. And here you are, like you said, at Oakmont in Pennsylvania. You competed in one tournament your freshman season at Georgia Tech, but still, where did you feel you grew the most as a golfer in your first season on the flats? Right. Yeah, my first season in Atlanta, um, obviously I only played in one tournament, but I feel like I drastically improved uh, in all parts of my game. Um, I think just being around you know, a bunch of guys um, that have the same goals as me and that I've had a lot of success and, um, you know, big time college events, big time amateur events, uh, just motivated me to keep working harder and just gave me a lot more confidence than I've had in the past. And you will be vying along with the rest of your Yellow Jackets for a three-peat at the USAM and the Ogletree, Tyler Strafaci, back-to-back yeah. Yellow Jackets claiming the Havemeyer Trophy. When you go out on the course and you got that GT on your bag or the GT on your shirt, do you think that gives you a little extra moxie? I think maybe a little bit. Um, you know, I'm I'm just going to be really proud to be representing Georgia Tech. Um, you know, there's been a lot of history. Uh, it's just a school with a lot of tradition. Um, so I'm just going to be proud to representing them. And you know, hopefully one of us three can can bring it back again. Bruce Hepler can find a talented golfer almost anywhere, and he found you in Indiana. Yeah. Not typically known as a hotbed of golf, but what, what enticed you to come down to the flats, and, and what made you know that Georgia Tech was the place you wanted to continue your, uh, your career as a golfer? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know how he found me, but uh, I sure am glad that he did. Um, obviously, you know, growing up, Georgia Tech, probably wasn't really a school that was on my radar just being from indiana but you know coach hepler started recruiting me i knew that the program um had a lot of history i knew that it was a great program and you know just as soon as i came on that first visit i knew that it was a place that i really wanted to go um just had everything that i wanted uh, great practice facilities great coaches great tournament schedule they've produced a lot of really good players obviously and i think you know, about a week after um, coming on my first visit, I committed. And, you know, ever since then, I've been really happy with that decision and glad that I'm there. And you told me you are true small town southern Indiana, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I come from a fairly uh, small town in southern Indiana. So coming to Atlanta, you know, it's a, it a little bit of change. Those first two weeks were uh, a little bit stressful. <laughs> you know, I, well, I got pretty fast and I like it a lot. Well, you handled that stress. You handled the stress of qualifying through a playoff, and we can't wait to see you handle the big stage of Oakmont and the U.S. Amateur and you and the rest of your Yellow Jackets vie for one of the great prizes in U.S. golf. Adam Brett, thanks so much for joining us on Tech Talks. Good luck. All right. Thank you.